Can you marry me? What? In 1973, Katie McCarthy married the heir to one of New York's largest fortunes. In 1982, she disappeared. Starting with reality is interesting for me. It's full of these remarkable details that you couldn't possibly make up. This story has within it 30 years of history that include three different people dying in mysterious circumstances and no one's ever been able to unravel the, the true story that inspired this movie. I think that David doesn't fit into his family, wants to be away from people, doesn't want to uh, connect with them. I think he wants to basically be alone, be in nature, and he has a sort of fantasy of his life that's like in the woods and out of the city. And I think that the city represents everything that's wrong with the world. It's sort of this kind of chaotic mess that doesn't make any sense. The character that Kirsten Dunst plays is this stunningly beautiful, incredibly giving person. And when she meets this remarkably different, somewhat odd, but obviously very charming uh, young man, she falls head over heels for him. Hi. I've forgotten why I'm here. So Frank Langella plays my father, uh, Sanford Marx, who's a very extremely uh, wealthy real estate investor in, in, in New York City who owns like a good portion of Times Square. Sanford Marx is a uh, billionaire real estate guy who makes life miserable for everybody, his family, his deceased wife, his sons. He's just an unredeemable guy. It's 39.50 each. That includes a generous tip. There's an interesting relationship between, between a father and his daughter-in-law, and it often is better than anyone imagines. You know, this is an older man who loves the breath of fresh air that this girl brings into the family, and yet also knows that she doesn't really belong there. She's never gonna be one of us. Oh, I know. Isn't that great? A lot of people who had a lot of promise and a lot of potential in the beginning and then through a series of bad decisions and gray areas in their life, they suddenly became the villain in their own story. David! I've decided to reopen the investigation into the disappearance of Catherine Marks. Cadaver dogs uncovered a body. I'm gonna blow the lid off. You know what I'm talking about. This case was never properly resolved and it's something that district attorney should take a new interest in and I think that would be, um, That'd be a really interesting outcome. All Good Things, inspired by true events, rated R.